To prove its durability, Stone Panels performed a full-scale bomb blast test on two walls of its Stonelight Natural Stone Veneer Aluminum Honeycomb Panels with 300 pounds of explosives. Now let's go back and take a look at what you're actually seeing. The two chambers you see here are set at different distances from the bomb, the farthest being set to meet the GSA's Class C threat level, which covers some 90% of U.S. government buildings. The closest doubles the forces of the wall. The wall on the left side of the screen is 162 feet. That's 49 meters away from the explosives. This creates a peak pressure of 4 psi and an impulse pressure of 28 psi millisecond at the wall. On the right side, the chamber is 111 feet, that's 34 meters, away from the explosive. This will create pressure of 8 psi and 45 psi millisecond. Both chambers have two of our options when it comes to installation, the interlocking channels on the left and the pre-panelized system on the right. Both chambers also have limestone, our softest stone type, and polychrome, the harder granite veneer. And now for the explosion. As you can see, the wall isn't just still standing, but Stonelight has absolutely no damage, not even a sign of a crack. When watching the explosion again in slow motion, you can see this, which is the test chamber sealant. The caulking sealing our Stonelight panels to each other and the panels to framing are not even affected. Here you can see the stone is actually moving with the explosion, which is what makes our Stonelight panels different from every other natural stone cladding. On the chamber affected by the 8 psi, the stone is moving in by some 2 inches, that's 50 millimeters, and out by about almost 3 inches, or 72 millimeters. The foam fill sealing the test rig plates and other debris can be clearly seen flying around in this slow motion video from the high speed camera used for measuring deflection. The panel's fluid motion is quite obvious and demonstrates why we say flexibility is our greatest strength. When taking a look at the rear of the chamber, you can see that the only thing that has become dislodged is the sheetrock. On the chamber with the 4 psi, it's merely had some of the screws pull through. On the chamber with the 8 psi, only one piece dislodged while others have screws pull through. This actually proves that the wall deflected significantly, but the studs returned to their original position. So the only repairs needed are to the interior wall, unless of course stone light panels were used to clad the interior walls for extra safety. And when you take a look at glass after an explosion, sheetrock would be the least of your worries after a Class C threat explosion. At least the stone panels will need no repairs, although we can see where the foam fill from the test rig left the void. So not only does the stone panel system withstand fires, earthquakes, and hurricane force winds with airborne debris, we now prove its tremendous resistance to the terrorist threats of explosion with no damage.